down everywhere. It's like saving. It's like I get to save my progress. And when I haven't done that, I've regretted not doing it. As a rule of thumb, I usually try to keep about 25 wood on me. I usually keep about 25 flint as well, but the flint is consumed way slower. It's like five wood per camp, but one flint per camp. I think this is the first time I'm going to be able to grab this. I want you guys to see this. I'm going to go for the archer because obviously. Fuck out of here with the weak shit, man. That's what the hammer does. <laughs> Silkweed! Yes! This is the first silkweed I've ever harvested. Yeah, buddy. What did it give us? Was it literally just plant fiber? Was it just more? 21 plant fiber. I don't know if there's a way you could see. It wouldn't be like quest ingredients. It's just plant fiber, I guess. No way. I'm gonna pay attention next time. I don't know if there's a history of like the shit that's happened in the log, if you can look that up or not. What are these guys doing here? A shaman and a soldier. Strange. It's the music that's so unsettling. This is a PvP game, like, you can turn your PvP on and, uh, run around and stuff. And potentially attack and be attacked. I'd do that whenever I max. Oh, I'll get my max level, then I'll turn it on. Or during wars, like, I'll, I'll probably do some PvP, but... I've been content for PvE so far. Maybe if I know what I'm doing and... I want, maybe I... I don't know. We'll see, we'll see! As far as that stuff goes, as far as any other way. Because I don't know how this game, like, I'm still learning how progression works. That's part of the reason why I waited till I was level 30 to start streaming is because I didn't know what I should or shouldn't be sharing as far as, like, location goes or server. And, uh, I think I got that stuff figured out now. Shock bow. Yeah, my wife, when she first played World of Warcraft in Burning Crusade, this is what she did. She ran around herbing. And I was like, come on, let's go over here. We gotta kill this person. We gotta do this quest. There's a dungeon that we're trying to do and all this other stuff. I was trying to keep her on task for like dungeons and questing and stuff. But all she wanted to do was pick flowers. <laughs> so I told her in this game, like, that's even what I'm doing, and they actually make it look cool because you got like the elemental flowers. I kind of saw her looking with hungry eyes. Like she really wanted to pick some flowers in this game. I know it. Boiling bear urine. You see, boiling bear urine. I don't mean to be rude to a fellow syndicate member, especially. Let me introduce my. Yes, well, this has been a stimulating. Yes, it has. All right, it's getting hot in my real house. I'm gonna step away, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna turn on some air. This is crazy. So this is the quest here. We need to go when I get back. Find someone who can make bear repel repellent to favor Dr. Theophrastus's and the syndicate, then distribute the repellent in the research trail. Okay, we'll do that right here in a second. Be right back, folks. Be right back, folks. Uh, B or B? There you go. All right, all right, all right.
Here we go. We're back. Whoop. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. The game's kind of quiet. I, it makes me feel quiet whenever the game's quiet like this. I hear it getting a little better as I as I'm going though. The like the volume increases as you start playing. Let me see something right there. All my settings right. This audio stuff better be good. I'll watch this back later. Something scuff. I'm gonna be mad. I'm like, dang nabbit! It was wrong all along. I need to see what these are. Ursus Hortus. Why does it look like a Lua Druid? What level are you? You're level 30? That's prime asshole besides, well. Right. Oh, don't get on your hiney. Getting on his hind legs over there. What? What's wrong? Oh, oh, landslide attacks. I see. I'm not impressed. I actually was kind of impressive, though. Can I skin him? Mining. It takes mining. Wow. I need a hundred mining. Oh, well, that was good. Let's see what mining we're at right now. 74 quite a ways to go not too far away. I mean that's kind of been the goal is to boost mining like I've been trying to I think I just need to stop and just start hitting rocks what is this thing oh no I didn't want to fight another one I'm not healed up yet locate someone who can teach me more about bear repellent oh was that the dude back there I think that was literally this guy Bro, teach me about bear repellent. As you can see, I got a problem. <laughs> he helped me. He helped me really quickly. Here, let's uh, get some stats. We'll take this bear down with three more shrink than we had before. Ow. I ran out of stamina is the problem. Okay. That's enough. You've said your fill. You've had your peace. Man, my health potions ain't doing jack for me anymore. So that took care of that. Where does it, where does it need us to go? East? All right. It's all dank and red because of these corrupted, uh, what are they called? The hive. Oh, it's a towering hive of corruption and a corrupted portal and monolith. Yeah, all this corrupted shit's popping up. That's why the sky and everything's really dark right now, by the way. I gotta keep ch chugging my health potions here. I'm using the low level ones because I had so many and uh, it doesn't give very much health. I'm, I've actually like... I'm specced fully into strength, so I have no extra hit points. I'm also geared fully into strength, so I've got almost just base hit points and then like some constitution from like my amulet or something like that, right? So these small health potions are even kind of beneficial for me. <laughs> That's like a, a tier one potion. Yeah, so it's not bad. Oh, what the dude, fuck is that? Just what I need. Unfortunately, oh, the corrupted areas kind of sound chaotic. Uh, oh, good. He said bear urine. Just what I needed. He he needed bear urine. Okay. Ah. Hey, uh, Piper. Oh, I was gonna say you might want to, but I guess he doesn't have any any qualm with you. Only me for some reason. Hold on, buddy. You about to let them teenage hormones get you into a world of hurt. Get on that. Yeah, he can't touch you now. He's as tall as you. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. I thought I outsmarted him. He got that shit up on there. Need some more hit points. Oh, my food buff is gone. Let me get one of the inventory Healy food buffs. This one? 
Uh, right here. Ah! All right, so now we'll get some passive heals while we run around. No, 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 we just can't get hit. Let's get up here. I like this strategy. Oh. <laughs> Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. It's clobbering time. It's time to clobber. It's clobber time. Ow. Ow. Don't hurt me, bear. What? You're slow at. Oh, okay. That's pretty good, man. Ah. I wish I could mine him. Yeah, it's rough, man. It's rough out here. Out here on these streets. Trying to survive as a lonely light armor strength man. I don't think the corrupted portal like that. Or maybe it did. <laughs> Our tracking and skinning is pretty good. I've been doing that pretty consistently for cooking. Harvesting I've been getting because these the plants they just stand out so much against the hand the landscape I can't help but go and get that whatever it is when I see it So that's a compliment. That's not a That's not a criticism. That's a compliment And then I see the star metal up there, but I can't I'm not there yet. I think I need a hundred for that stuff. I need to hit these rocks. It's like this though. You you got an objective. Like right now mine's to do the things. Like this. And as I'm going all these little distractions. Like oh piece of candy. <laughs> oh piece of candy. And I'm like doing it all. I really shouldn't be. Because you can see my town inventory is filling up. So I'm going to have to figure something out with that. I think buying a house will solve that. But uh. I keep spending all my money on uh. On potions and shit, actually. Potions and am ammunition, because I've been using... I'll use guns sometimes, like the muskets. I leveled up the muskets just so I can have a reliable musket that I can pull stuff with so I can hit it with my hammer. And then also, like, things like that bird that can outrun me. It's awfully nice not having to chase something down to just try to hit it with a hammer real slow. It's much better to just shoot something from, like... You know, literally as far as I could see, I could shoot something. And then it falls, like, BAM! It's down. Of course, you have to have quite a bit of dexterity in order for your musket to hit super hard. Mine hits for like two, two or three hundred a hit. Depending on if I get a headshot or not. These! Eggs are always needed. Anytime you see eggs, always grab eggs. Yeah, there's certain things you're gonna see like that that you don't see. <laughs> like it, it's like, oh, I got an egg from somewhere? And then you try to go sell it and they're selling for like a hundred gold an egg. Because apparently eggs is used to make some sort of a buff food or something, right? Like my garlic, uh, my garlic steak, uh, tier two food here gives me six strength and four dexterity. It required garlic, so I really had to go out of my way to get that garlic. Did Theo finally figure out the formula? Which, out of my way. Honestly, if I would have just sat there get harvesting at level 1 when I first spawned into the game, I would have had the garlic I needed, because that's where I was. I was in a level 1 zone. Harvesting all that garlic. But I at least had a goal, a clear goal and intention and direction by the time I came back around to get it, so... At level 1, you don't know what you're harvesting or why. Still need a hundred mining skill. Let's head west and I'm gonna spend these. I always go with territory gain. I've been going with XP gain in the lower level zones, but I'm not doing that anymore. And then storage I find is the most important, at least currently for me in my current situation with the with these towns. I realize crafting fees and trading tax, but I feel like territory gain helps with that a bit. 
So it's like, you can really boost your crafting fee uh, reduction and, and, and pay almost nothing for crafting fees. Or probably pay literally nothing for crafting fees if you get it really specced out. Or you could do like your trading fees, like trading costs or taxes or whatever the fuck. Like there was two of them, crafting, trading. And then the third one was, uh, what, territory gain? Which is actually both of those, but it's not as much. I think that's how I've come to think of it, I think. <clears throat> I don't know if that's a good way to think about it. <laughs> that's just how I'm doing it for now. I'll probably be mistaken on that and come back and realize eventually. But yeah, I'm just trying to learn this shit. How do you see me so, so far? What you got your friend in on it? Oh no, this ain't gonna happen. I mean, I could try, but I ain't that savage. I don't think I'm that savage. My health or my my tent is pretty far too. Oh, there's eggs. If I could do this, I could get some of them eggs. Oh, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this. Ah! <laughs> no, no, DB. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh no, look, I was four meters away from my camp. I was four meters away from being able to spawn at my own camp. I should have dropped another camp over here. This is why we drop our camps, guys. This is what, otherwise you gotta make that lonely road. That nearest settlement or that. Let's go to the nearest settlement. We'll take this as a free travel because uh, we can always recall for free back at our own. <laughs> 